Well, hello and good morning and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 21st of March 2020 time, just before 10 o'clock and this is live from being at home. You can probably guess why. Anyway, I'm going to try and be positive, relatively speaking, although as normal, I'll have a good old moan. Let's start positively last Sunday. Um, my new PC, ah, I actually swapped it out with my old PC and I kept the monitor and I kept the old PC, which is going to come in handy and I'll tell you why later. Anyway, the amount of dust and muck and whatever underneath the old PC, horrendous. However, I had it for five years. I found lots of things I'd lost. I even found a little bit of money. So I came up ahead, although it spent most of the day synchronizing with my Synology NAS. But what can you do? Anyway, so it was back to work on Monday. And I think if I remember correctly, frost. So it was a double hot water bottle on the dash sort of day. And the mornings are drawing out, which means, well, we're already in spring. I think is today the equinox it may well be so it is spring although meteorologically speaking as I'm in favor of it's been spring since the first of March anyway in the night uh, there was a prime ministerial announcement basically saying uh, don't go to pubs cafes restaurants theaters all that sort of stuff but we're not closing them which I thought was a bit wishy-washy. If they were that dangerous, then they should have been closed. Um, if you leave them open, people are going to go there. I certainly did. I kept my distance. Uh, I paid by card. And anyway, Tuesday the 17th was St. Patrick's Day. And I have, and no one on the media has mentioned this at all, seen any indication of people who go to pubs get in the virus i don't mean many people <laughs> sorry that's wrong but i don't think it was that dangerous however come back to that one anyway um tuesday was saint patrick's day i think there is a little bit of irish in me um i had a red ale from the brew brewery and it was really rather nice i liked it a lot um although Again, did social distance. Thursday came round and curry Thursday. Um, although there were lots of managers specials on and there were signs all over Weatherspoon saying pay by card. And all over the place, people were cleaning things and spraying things and whatever. Although the best way to stop this sort of thing is to wash your hands, which I do. And my hands are still falling apart. But never mind so last night friday night um pubs closed um cafes closed um restaurants closed a lot of them are now doing takeout services or delivering um, this is going to be a really hard time for them so you may wish to support them or i think some of them are doing gift cards you buy the gift cards now you keep them going and when and if the way things are going they do open up um you can reclaim them yeah lots of small businesses in trouble at the moment so support your locals oh and by the way panic buying helps no one it, it, it makes me despair buy what you need buy just a touch more don't go crazy don't get into arguments um, and queuing. All those people who are queuing at supermarkets. Ah, yes, that would be social distancing, wouldn't it? Talking about that, I went to my Aldi's on Monday night after work. It was fine. Um, people were keeping apart from each other. Everyone was acting responsibly. Yeah, no issues at all. So thank you, Aldi. Thank you, all the other supermarket workers. Thank you, the people who stack the shelves and deliver the goods. Okay. Um, <laughs> in the week, it, I'm, I'm not sure if this was America or the UK, but it said that Amazon was prioritizing things like 
food and essentials delivery. Well, on Thursday, I ordered a Raspberry Pi because I thought, well, Saturday, I'm probably not going to be able to go to the pub or want to. That was before the announcement. Yesterday, my Raspberry Pi had arrived overnight. Now, it may be because it had the word Raspberry in the title. I'm not altogether sure. But it arrived, and I've got other things to keep me going that are going to arrive quite quickly. It's a funny old world. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, dig out the old monitor, which is just to my left, and um, I'm going to have a little crack at it. Um, and I have a can of uh, a beer from the truck brewery up in Manchester. So um, I will be doing a bit of a Saturday drink when the sun's out. And I've got socks drying on the line. So everyone, take care. Stay safe. Um, we all have access to the internet. Well, you must be if you're watching this. Um, so stay in touch with people. And um, I'll speak to you next week. I think the technical term is bye-bye.